Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this quick tutorial I want to demonstrate a very basic deadlock situation that can happen in your MySQL database server. Let's get into it. A deadlock happens when two or more transactions are waiting for one another to give up locks that each of them need to acquire in order to finish. I will demonstrate this with this little MySQL table that contains this small data set and uh, there will be two sessions, the purple session and the black session and uh, two of them will try to get some data from the table and the whole situation will eventually end up in a deadlock. So we'll start with the purple session by starting a new transaction here. So the purple session wants to select the record 50 from the table but not only does it want to select the record it also wants to put an exclusive lock on it. So in order to do that we need to specify the for update keyword in the query. So now the purple session is holding an exclusive lock on one record in the table and we can see this lock by running this query. So as you can see it's actually two locks here but we are only interested in this one. It's an exclusive lock uh, for the record with the ID 50. So let's jump over to the black session now. Uh, we'll start a new transaction here. And like in the purple session, we also want to select one record for update, only this time it will be the record with the ID 60. Now let's check what's going on in the locks table. To do that, I'll copy this query and run it here. So as you can see we've got two exclusive locks here. And now in my black session I want to try and put an exclusive lock on the record with the ID 50. If you remember it's the exact record that the purple transaction is holding a lock to. So as I do it you see it's begun to hang because now the black session is waiting for the purple session to release the lock on the record. So let's jump back to the purple session. If I finish this transaction now by typing commit, I will let the black transaction proceed, but that's not what I want, because what I want is a deadlock. If you remember, the black transaction is holding a lock on the record 60 and trying to get a lock on the record 50. So what will happen if we try and put a lock on the record 60 in the purple transaction? Oops, it's a deadlock. And if we go back to the black transaction, we can see that it was able to proceed because the purple transaction was aborted and all its locks were released. In conclusion, I want to show you a picture that perfectly depicts the situation we just tried to reproduce. As you can see, transaction 1 is holding a lock on 50, while transaction 2 is holding a lock on 60. Then transaction 2 is requesting a lock on 50, which makes it wait for transaction 1 to finish. But then transaction 1 is asking for a lock on 60, which makes both of them to wait for each other to finish. This situation is called a deadlock. Fortunately, MySQL has a built-in mechanism for detecting and resolving such situations. In our case, it aborted transaction 1, which allowed for transaction 2 to run and complete itself. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.